Hello, I'm Rodney Laney with Projector People, and we're here today to talk about the difference between the recent 1080p projectors introduced on the market. These new 999 series are DLP technology. They're very small, portable, and great for high resolution needs if you happen to need them for data, versus the units that were released last fall with 120 hertz frame rate and a very good feature set, including much better video processing and lens shift. The particular 999 projector that we're looking at today happens to be the Optima HD20. This unit, like the Epson that we're going to be looking at, also has two HDMI inputs. It has component input as well as standard video. What this unit um, does not have is the S-Video connection and the serial port connection, which is available on the higher end units for control. The lumen output on this is 1700 lumen, and it's 4001 contrast ratio has a very short zoom ratio, so therefore you have to get it pretty close to where you need it to be in order to get it to fit the space that you need to use it in. Versus the Epson HC6500, this unit, in addition to being 120 hertz frame rate versus the 60 hertz with the Optima, this unit has horizontal and vertical lens shift. It has a 2x zoom range, which gives it great versatility from a mounting standpoint. You're able to release or to replace previous projectors uh, without having to move a mount in many cases. And as I mentioned before, it does have the two HDMI inputs in the S-Video. Both of them also have the 12 volt triggers. This unit is a 75,000 to 1 contrast ratio with 1600 lumen. I'll go ahead and uh, turn on the video now so that you can see the difference. This is a great shot of uh, contrast ratio. Um, either of these images. The darker the image, the more easily it is to, to see the difference in the detail, especially outside of the actual image. But even within the image, you can look at the difference in the blacks where they're more of a gray versus a darker black on the uh, unit with the better processor. Just to give an idea of uh, some of the other features and what they actually mean when you're uh, working with these units and trying to install them, uh, the Epson has a zoom range which will allow you to vary your image size much more so than you can with the Optima unit. What I've done there is I've just taken it from the very largest to the very smallest image capability. And if we do the same thing with the smaller unit, the Eps uh, excuse me, the Optima unit, we will see that it also loses focus as you change your size. But that is the minimum image size versus the maximum image size. So if you have, if you like to change venues on occasion, or if you're swapping out an older model projector that maybe would have a, uh, a center lens, and these units have offset lenses, then you'll find you'll be in, you'll be much more uh, capable of doing that without changing any of your mounting or your screen locations with the use of units with the lens shift, or excuse me, with the zoom ratios. And then there is the lens shift capability, which the new 999 units do not have, which gives a huge variation of image placement. As you can see, you can nearly remove it from sight, and then you may also adjust them left to right. These are most of the units in this category of home theater projector do have the manual lens shift as opposed to a electronic, which many may argue the point, but I believe offers a better ability to be much more precise if you just need to really dial it in to a tight spot. The entry level unit on the left offers a 2D like image uh, versus the higher quality unit on the right with the greater video processing offers almost a natural 3D like image. In addition to the uh, better video processing, the fact that the higher end unit has the 120 hertz frame rates capability versus the 60 hertz of the entry level unit is what helps to make the better video experience. So again, if you're looking for an inexpensive intro into 1080p, then your 999 unit, as long as you don't need uh, have a little variation in your mounting capabilities, that unit will do a good job for you. But if you want the best in video processing and truly the best in technology today, 
these units with 120 hertz and the higher end video processors offer a much better solution.